Now, there's all this talk about the iPad mini and the new iMacs and the new Mac this and that, but hardly anybody talks about the humble Mac mini, or as I like to call it, the perfect home theater PC. We have one here, and we are about to unbox it. All right, so the Mac mini is such an interesting little computer. It has pretty good specs and a ton of storage, and I assume that they're still making it to be kind of a home theater computer, but meanwhile, they're trying to sell you Apple TV boxes. In fact, look at how they highlight the connectivity on the box right off the bat. They're like USB, HDMI, Firewire, Thunderbolt. This thing is meant to be plugged in, empowering things. Let's get out of here. It's kind of a little brick. Pretty heavy, actually. It's kind of funny. It's, it's the graveyard of lost connectors. Like they're still doing Firewire? Only on the Mac Mini. Killed it everywhere else. Oh, look at this. It's like a really big Apple TV. Oh my God, it's so funny. It's like a computer. Look at that. Oh geez. <laughs> it's kind of a slippery computer. All right, there we go. Simple, sleek, media receiver. Let's find out what we have in the box before we do our specs. Got our little instructional packet dealy. Power. Is this really the power brick for this thing? It's so little. Wow. I have to say, that doesn't seem like it would be a huge feature, but that's a huge feature. There's no massive brick here. That is contributing to a tidier home theater cabinet, and I approve. You've also got a dongle, actually, an HDMI, it looks like DVI to HDMI dongle, which is pretty useful. So clearly, I mean, as soon as you start taking this thing out of the box, you get the idea that this is meant to be part of your home theater setup. It's just so interesting that they don't talk about it. They talk about Apple TV when this is so much more flexible. All right, on to the specs. The Mac Mini comes in two versions. There's a 2.5 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i5 that starts at $599, or you can get a 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7 Ivy Bridge, that one's $799. It's configurable to up to 2.6 gigahertz, by the way, on that quad core model. It weighs 2.7 pounds. It's about an inch and a half tall. It's 7.7 .7 inches wide and deep, so it's a little square. The 599 model has 500 gigs of storage. The 799 model actually has a built-in terabyte. It has integrated Intel graphics and four gigs of onboard memory. That's configurable up to 16 gigs. Let's get to the ports. There is Thunderbolt. You have a Firewire 800 port, four USB 3 ports, an HDMI port, an SDXC card slot so you could offload your photos onto this device, gigabit ethernet, audio in and out, and of course, an IR receiver. Now, one thing you'll note is that there is no optical drive on the Mac Mini. Apple is expecting you to download or buy all of your movies and TV from, most likely, iTunes. Also note that it does not come with any input devices, no keyboard or mouse, so you're gonna have to bring your own wireless keyboard or Apple's $69 gesture accessory if you want to use the new OS 10 gestures. Now the lack of optical drive for me is the biggest knock on the Mac Mini. As long as all your media is in the cloud, then I guess you're okay with this. But to be honest, I was hoping to buy this and then have a Blu-ray drive built in so I could watch movies on a big cinema display and that could be a whole TV all on its own. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be doing that. But if you own all of your iTunes movies, download from Amazon, things like that, this is a great web-enabled, fully functioning computer to make part of your home theater package. Check out our CNET review on that and happy shopping.